Whenever I see girls and boys Hi guys, we're going to show you about the responsive web design and its four contents. First is creating mobile friendly layouts. Second, media queries and responsive breakpoints. Third, fluid grids and flexible images. And then fourth is testing and debugging across different devices. Responsive web design is an approach to web design that makes web pages render well on a variety of devices and window or screen sizes. The goal of responsive design is to provide seamless and consistent user experience across different platforms from desktop computers to tablets and mobile phones. The key principles of responsive web design include fluid grids, flexible image, media queries, and viewport beta type. Responsive web design offers several advantages. Better user experience, improved SEO, easier maintenance, and cost effectiveness. To implement responsive design, web, web developers use a combination of HTML, CSS, and sometimes JavaScript. Creating mobile-friendly layouts is crucial for ensuring a positive user experience on small screens such as those of mobile phones and tablets. Responsive design. Use a responsive design approach that adapts to different screen sizes and resolutions. Fluid grids. Design using fluid grids that use relative units like percentages instead of fixed units like pixels. Flexible images. Use responsive image techniques such as setting max width 100% on images to prevent them from exceeding the width of their container. But let me call on Trixel to help me explain some practices to create mobile-friendly layout. Viewport meta tag. Include the viewport meta tag in the head of your HTML document to control the viewport dimensions and scaling. Mobile first design start designing for mobile device first and then progressively enhance for the larger screens. Elements. Design with touch and friendly elements such as larger tabs, targets for buttons and links to accommodate users to inter interacting with touch screens. Readable font size ensure the text is easily readable on small screens by using legible font size and appropriate line height. Remember that the mobile friendly design is not just about making the website fit on a smaller screens, but also about providing a user-friendly experience tailored to the characteristics of mobile devices. Media queries and responsive breakpoints are essential tools in creating responsive web designs that adapt to different screen sizes, basic structure, common features, minimum width, and maximum width are commonly used in conditions. Breakpoints. Breakpoints are the specific widths where your design changes. Responsive breakpoints. Identifying breakpoints, identify natural breakpoints based on your design and content. Adjusting layout, adjust your layout and styling at each breakpoint to ensure readability and usability. Mobile first approach, start with st styles for smaller screens first and then add styles for larger screens using media queries. But we need to call my friend to help me explain how we can use the media queries. Viewport units. Consider using viewport units for font sizes and some layout elements to create by using media queries and setting responsive brick breakpoints. You can create designs that look good and function well across a variety of devices and screen sizes. Fluid grids and flexible images are fundamental concept in responsive web design. A fluid grid is a layout design approach where the container elements, key points. The goal is to create a flexible layout that can adapt to different screen sizes. Jelly, explain to us the benefits. Benefits Adaptability fluid weights and flexible image. Enable a website to adapt to a wide range of screen sizes. Preventing overflow by setting a maximum width on, on images. Consistent layout. The use of relative units and flexible elements helps maintain a consistent layout. Simplified maintenance. Design
designing with flowing grids and flexible images. Testing and debugging across different devices is crucial to ensure a consistent and functional user experience. So here are some strategies and tools you can use for effective testing. Uh, device emulators and simulators. Uh, browser dev tools, most modern browsers include built-in developer tools with device emulation features. And then Xcode IO simulator and Android emulator. For mobile app development, using the official emulators, Xcode is for iOS and Android Studio for Android. Provides an accurate representation. Appium, an open source tool for automating native mobile web and hybrid application on iOS and Android platforms. Cross browser testing, browser stock, cross browser testing, and Lambda tests. Debugging tips. Use remote debugging. Modern browsers support remote debugging. Viewport meta tag. Ensure that the viewport meta tag is correctly configured. 